This is the P51 Bullet. It's a long travel motocross style e-bike that is street legal. And that means you can ride it on the street legally and get to the trails and then ride it on the trails. It's also light enough to fit on a bike rack. So if you want to get into riding your bike off road or riding a dirt bike, but you don't have a truck, you can put this thing on the bike rack on the back of a car, take it to the trails. You can also ride it on the streets to the trails and not get a ticket. So let's listen to what the owner, founder, inventor says about it. So yeah, this is the P51 Bullet. Um, it's a 750 watt motor. It's got a 20 amp hour battery. It's got a 20 or 200 millimeters of front suspension. It's got 148 in the rear. Um, the controller and everything is internal, right? So all the wiring, everything runs through the frame. It's got hydraulic brakes. It's got a Baja front light, off-road tires. Um, it's pretty much built to ride. You know, it's built to go in the dirt. It's built to go. You got levels one through five. So level one being your slowest, five being the fastest. Um, and it's all pedal assist levels one through five, or you can do level zero that is throttle only. And that's a what, 180? That's a 203. 203? Ah. The batteries are interchangeable, so you can swap them out in less than a minute as well. All right, let's see what it does on the road. So this thing definitely feels like a motocross motorcycle. The, you know, you just kind of float across the earth and you're not feeling any of the bumps. It's really super comfortable and spongy to ride. And now we're going to do an acceleration test and see just how quickly you can go from zero to top speed. So that was a nice quick takeoff, but it didn't try to wheelie out from under me. Like if I did that on my YZ250 and gave it full throttle like that, it would be gone and I'd be standing there. So, but this is not a supercross bike. This is a bicycle that is street legal and electric powered for use in all 50 states. And as you can see, you can kind of see that I'm floating on a cloud here when I'm going over these mild bumps. I wish they had some jumps and things to take it over, but I didn't. But it just kind of floats along exactly as you would expect on a super soft sprung bicycle or motocross bike. And that really makes you ask the question, like, what is this for? And I think the, the best use case is, let's say you wanna go riding on some dirt trails and go off road and dirt biking, but you wanna be able to get there on the street legally, and you don't wanna to have to buy a motorcycle driver's license or motorcycle insurance, or actually buy an actual motorcycle. This thing will fit on a bike rack and you can take it wherever you go. You know, For ex example, my son is a downhill mountain bike racer, and you know, looking at the stuff he does downhill, if he could go uphill on this thing and then also go downhill, that would be pretty awesome. Like imagine if he rode up the mountain and then he could turn around and do this on the way down and then ride back up the mountain again without having to buy a lift ticket. That'd be pretty cool. And you know, this thing compares favorably to a downhill mountain bike, about the same amount of suspension travel, a little bit heavier, but it'll get you up the hill. So uh, I give it a huge thumbs up. I think it's a, a decent value at that price, and I hope they do great with it. Everybody on the internet seems to love it, so I think these guys are going to be fine.